National Alex Thompson is going to join us right now. Oh, my God. Um, Alex, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Um, every time I think we should talk about it, I'm ready to look down at my screen and see something citing six unnamed individuals who requested anonymity, and they're going to come out and say something, and I'm ready for anything at, at any given time. I, it, it's such a fluid situation right now. Uh, we, we heard, oh, yeah, the, these, the move is afoot to find somebody else. We've heard that. And then we've also heard that uh, the, the wagons are circling, and it'd be so difficult. And there's no heir apparent that, that's totally obvious uh, either, Alex. What, what, what do you expect to happen? What, what's... As of what time is it? As of 640, what do you know? AM, East Coast on. Well, both things can be true that some people are already scouring to see if there can be a replacement. And also the wagons are circling around Joe Biden. You basically saw Joe Biden's family really take the wheel over the weekend. Uh, he went to Camp David for a pre-scheduled uh, shoot with Annie Leibovitz, which I can tell you did not go over great with a lot of very concerned Democrats who felt that the Bidens were not reading the room. Um, that also included uh, the first lady on the cover of Vogue this month, which just dropped this morning. Um, that being said, uh, the only one that can get out of this race is Joe Biden. The party cannot force him off the ballot. He won the primary. Um, this is a, a one-person decision. Um, and the fact is that a lot of donors, a lot of Democrats, a lot of White House staff are both simultaneously sad because of how this could affect the election, but also feel really angry right now because they feel like they've been gaslit. You know, they could see Joe Biden was struggling in public forums the last six months, especially, but also over the last year. And basically, we're confronted by eye rolls and people in the White House being like, he's as sharp as ever. Yeah, maybe he has some physical frailties, but he's fine. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the debate undermined that and now has even people in the White House questioning not just about whether or not he can win this election, but whether or not he should actually be president at 20 in 2029, which is what he's running to do.